So, so how do we manage with the three levels there? On that purely physical, day-to-day, -day, managing life, getting through all the stuff level. Yep. Part of these, the idea of these tools is to help us manage that. Yeah. So we can we can get done what we need to do and be effective. Okay, so how do you manage the, when the you word you said was manage, right? Oh yeah. Well let's call it so we call it control that. Yeah. As well. Manage and control. Survive. Okay, survival and all that stuff. Do you think the soul cares about any of that? No. Why? Because the soul already knows, you already know that there's nothing to manage. You already know at the soul level, right? This is something God implanted into you. You already know at the soul level, there's nothing to manage. There is no such thing as survival. There is no such thing as this because when this soul develops, everything that you need just comes to you. Mm. Everything. Any food you need, clothes you need, shelter you need, money you need, anything you need is just going to come to you. So what we do is because it's not coming to me, I decide, oh, it's not coming to me, so now I'm going to have to manage and control it so that it does come to me. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, don't do that. I'm saying, feel the soul's emotions so, and release the ones that cause it to not come to you. And when you've released all of that, all of these things will automatically come to you. Without you having to think and manage and control. Do you follow me? Yes. yes. That's what I'm saying. Now, obviously, there's a changeover period from doing that, right, doing it one way, managing and controlling, into doing it the other way. And during that period, is going to be huge change for you. You're going to go from a, change, from, from a place of trusting yourself to manage and control everything in your life, to trusting that God will bring you everything you need. Mm. Right? And I'm not saying you're not going to have to work, but of course you're going to have to work, because one of the things you'll learn in your soul is, I need to care for myself. And of course you're going to start caring for yourself. One of the things that you will learn is to do that, right? Completely at the soul level. When you do that, you'll realise that actually, this body doesn't even need clothes. This body doesn't even need food. Because the soul can provide everything it needs. And when you're at one with God, that's how you'll feel. Now, you might put on clothes for other people's benefit, right? <laughs> but that's how you'll feel. So, when we manage and control, what we're really doing, in a way, is we are still using the tools to mm -hmm. avoid the soul's reasons why it's creating the need for us to manage and control. The only reason why we need to manage and control is because there's some emotions in our soul that don't, that cause all of these things to be pushed away from us that we need. You follow me? Mm -hmm. There's some emotions in my soul right at the moment of unworthiness. It pushes away my need for you know, money. That's what it does. One of the things it does. It pushes away my need for cash. <clears throat> right? Now, why do I even need cash? Well, in a universe down the track, in our universe down the track, there won't be any need for it. But right now, mm. I agree. You know, to live in this world, you're going to need to have some of this unless you're self-sufficient. So my soul is not bringing in that need. Why isn't it? It's not because I'm not working or not doing this or not doing that good enough. It's because I'm blocking it from my soul. I have an emotion in my soul that I'm not dealing with <clears throat> about unworthiness. Me. Because I release that emotion, once I release that emotion, all of a sudden, everything that this body needs will all be provided for. God provides everything. Are you suggesting that this can happen to us here on earth? Of course. Yep. So, could you give us an example? Not, not a person my age who's eligible for a pension, but someone who has resources and can afford to put food on the table except for that. What, what you're calling is unnecessary. How is the soul going to resolve that? Just as an example. Uh, I'll give you an example from my own life in the first century. You want? To, is that all right? It was a much harsher environment than now, right? To earn to earn money to survive. But I was taught to work, just like all of you have been taught to work by my father, right? And I became a builder like my father was. But then in my 20s, I realised that, hang on a sec, God actually will provide everything. As long as I work through the emotional reasons why that's not happening. And so what I began to do then was just trust God rather than trust myself to do everything. 
as long as I stayed in my emotional processing, my emotional truth, my emotional work. All through the three and a half years that I went around the public ministry that's recorded in the Bible, there was not a single time when I actually worked in order to get money, in order mm -hmm. to buy food. Mm -hmm. Now, I worked many times, but I did it because I wanted to do some work. Mm -hmm. But I didn't do it in order to get something. And all through that time, I just got given things, mm -hmm. one after the other after the other. Everything I needed, clothes, food, shelter, everything. Wouldn't work so well nowadays, though, would it? Why not? Well, supposing you, 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 your living environment requires you to have a car. But then I'll, I'll be given one. Mm. I mean, I, I, I find everybody's got their own different levels. I can get by on a shoestring and not have big needs. And I hate seeing other people... I've got things. huge needs. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just joking. But, I, like, honestly, what's the problem with having big needs? There's no problem, really. In the end... Your soul's desire will create everything you need. In the future, you will see this in operation, right? in terms of an, in an abundant state, what you can do. What I'm saying is right now, the only reason why it's not happening right now is because there's an emotion inside of me, inside of you, that causes it to not happen. That's the only reason. Right? And once you deal with those emotions, your attractions will be different. The thing is, at the moment, you don't trust what I'm saying. And that's okay. You don't have to. You follow me? Yes, we do. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I can feel you don't. I mean, we want to. I know. We want to want to. And this is, the, this is the thing about what you're hearing, right? Is that it, you can feel it tugging on your soul, right? You can, think, you can feel it saying, wow, wouldn't life be fantastic like that? Can, you can feel that, can't you? Right? Wouldn't life... But it's just a utopian dream, AJ. What are you coming up with, right? That's the other thing that also goes in there. Why does that come in there? Because fear, doubt. fear, doubt, and all these things around disharmony with love that I need to feel and release from me. That's why they're not happening. That's why they don't happen.